everybody, I'm Tiffany and today I'm doing a winter book and movie haul. Oh yeah, it's been forever since the last one which was in summer, so I completely skipped over fall. I'm completely sorry about that. I have a ton of books and movies to show you today. I know that my book haul probably cover photo doesn't look like that many, but I have like 10 times more than what I actually showed in the cover photo. I just couldn't carry them all because there's too many. I'm sorry I couldn't show them all to you in the cover photo, but you'll get to see them all and I'm not going to try and stack them. I'm sorry. They're, they're, they're just, just too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm super excited. Of course, like the last one, I'm going to show you the movies first and then I'll get into the books. Let's go ahead and get started and straight into it. Woo! So the first thing I want to show you is actually not a book or movie. There's just two little things I want to show you before I actually get into them. But they are kind of film related ish, so I decided to show them to you. And the first is this beautiful backpack I got for Christmas. <laughs> if you guys are Walking Dead fans, then you know exactly what this is, hopefully. But it's from the character Daryl, who's my favorite character. On Walking Dead and it's like the angel wings that he wears on his coat it's just so cool and I loved it and I wanted to show it off so there you go that's item number one and then the second Christmas item that I got it's kind of a book but I have a lot of these you can't see it I have this whole section down here that's dedicated to books about the makings of Broadway shows and movies I love getting these types of things for all these movies that I love my parents who are amazing and spectacular, got me this. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it basically talks about the filming of Fantastic Beasts and has cool stuff and pictures and it's marvelous. I will be devouring this book very shortly and finding every little nook and cranny I can in this thing. I'm so in love with this. Thank you. So now let's finally get to the movies and books that I have to show you today. We're going to start with the movies, like I said. I'll go through them briefly. Some I've seen, some I haven't seen. And then we'll go ahead and get into books, because I have a lot more books than I do movies, though I have a lot of movies too. But let's go ahead and get into it. So the first movie that I have today, I'm really happy that I got it. I had like a gift card. Me Before You! Yay! You can tell it's not even opened yet. As I said in my last book haul where I hauled the actual book, Me Before You, that I was going to read the book before I watched the movie. And the funny thing is that my mom forgot that I bought this for when I finally finished the book and got it on Redbox. So we ended up watching it that night and I was kind of a little sad because I saw the movie before the book. But I'm still planning on reading the book and I'm definitely going to watch the movie again. And then I can do a compare and contrast movie slash book review. I love Amelia Clark. I love Sam Claflin. It's amazing. It's spectacular. This will make you cry, bring tissues. So go watch it. It's so cute. It's just, it's so sad. The next movie that I have, this one I'm kind of a little ashamed about because as a movie buff, I should have seen this and I have not. And it's really sad. It's really, really sad. But it is The Godfather. I just made like every single person hate me right now and I'm so sorry! I don't know why I haven't watched it, I do not have a good excuse whatsoever, but I saw it on Amazon and I got it. So now I have the DVD, so I definitely do not have an excuse about watching The Godfather. I will watch this. I am determined to watch this. This next movie is a little bit different. You're probably going to be like, why the heck do you have this movie? But there is a little bit of a story behind it. The next movie is Xanadu. I actually have seen this movie already and watched it. I haven't gotten around to recording a review for it because I need to get my 80s clothes so I can dress up. But I definitely want to record a review for it so I might watch it again. We'll see. It's one of my great friends in Florida. Her dad passed away and his favorite movie was this. So I decided to do a review on it in honor of him because he was awesome. The next movie that I have, this one I also have not seen, but it's supposed to be really, really good. I'm not 100% sure what it is about. It's supposed to be amazing and it's right up my alley and it has an amazing cast. This movie is L.A. Confidential. Yeah, I haven't seen that movie either. I know. 
I know, it's really weird. I'm a movie buff, but then like some big movies I have not seen, which is really, really sad. It's LA Confidential, it has Kevin Spacey, Russell Crowe, Guy Pearce, Kim Basinger, and Danny DeVito. Sorry if I pronounced any of those names wrong, by the way. And it seems like a film noir type thing, mystery. It's gotten amazing reviews. IMDb it has a really high score, so I wanted to get it because I had birthday money and I got it. The next movie is another classic. A lot of these are going to be classics that you're going to be mad I have not seen yet. So I'm just warning you about that. Apocalypse Now. I know. I know. I know. Two of Marlon Brando's biggest movies and I have not seen them. What is wrong with me? I don't know too much about it and I kind of purposefully done that because I really don't want to be spoiled for this. And it's the same kind of with The Godfather. Like I know the basics but I don't know the full on story and it's because I really do not want to be spoiled for this I really want to enjoy it and be amazed and like mind blown by what happens in it and I think this is going to be one of those movies and it's really really long but I've trained myself for long movies Lord of the Rings, Titanic, The Hobbit, all of those I am trained and ready to go. Right, this next movie is another classic it has Kevin Costner in it I think this one did it one best picture I don't know if it won Best Picture. I think it did, though. And it was actually my grandpa's favorite movie. But this movie is Dances with Wolves with Kevin Costner. And I'm not sure really what this is about at all. It's supposed to be really good. It won Best Picture. So I'm excited to watch this. Next one. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. This has an amazing cast. It was actually Kevin Spacey's, I think, one of his debut films, maybe. Really his first major role in a film. If you can't tell by my movie collection, I love Kevin Spacey. Of course, when I saw Glengarry Glenn Ross, I was like, I'm gonna get this. But it has Alec Baldwin, Ed Harris, Al Pacino, it has a really good cast. And it seems like another more mystery thriller type thing, and I could be wrong about that. But it's more suspenseful, and I love suspenseful movies. This is the final, like, full DVD that I have, and it's like a triple feature. And usually I go for ones where I really haven't seen either movie. But this bundle was just so amazing and pretty and awesome that I just, I couldn't, I couldn't say no to it. But it is a triple feature of Seven, Insomnia, and The Devil's Advocate. <laughs> There's a thing with these three movies together. I don't know how, I don't know when, but whoever thought this up is an absolute genius. I've seen Seven like 5,000 times. I love this movie. If you have not seen it, go see it. Devil's Advocate I've seen like once, but it was really good, so go see that. And Insomnia I have not seen at all, and I need to watch it, so I'm going to watch it. And Insomnia, I have no idea what that's about, but it has Al Pacino and Robin Williams, so it can't really go wrong. So these next couple of movies I don't actually have like DVD cases for. So my Aunt Carla, when I went up to New York, you can see my New York trip vlog on my channel. My Aunt Carla had this whole collection of DVDs, so Marissa and I are very big movie fanatics. And Aunt Carla took this out and said you can take as many of the discs as you want and her and I fell into movie heaven. So these are the discs that I got from that. The first one is Hotel Rwanda with Don Cheadle. My friend Avery from Florida has been bugging me to watch this movie almost 24-7. I got the disc so I have no excuse and I can do a movie review for him. Hi Avery! The next one is... 40 year old virgin with Steve Carell. This one I haven't seen. I've seen like parts of it, but not the whole thing beginning to end. And I'm one who needs to see the whole movie from beginning to end. When I found this, I was so happy and it was a comedy. It was a little bit different. If you haven't been able to tell, I picked a lot of dramas. I'm so excited for this. The next one that I have is a Steven Spielberg film. It is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I don't know what this is about, except I think it involves aliens. But other than that, all I know is that it's a Steven Spielberg movie, which means I am watching it because it's Steven Spielberg. These next two are together, and I'm not really a big video game person in the sense of I don't play video games, but I do know the new games that come out, and I do watch some YouTubers like Markiplier, PewDiePie, the Rad Brad, I watch them, I watch them do the walkthroughs, and I do like watching movies that are based off of video games. So this one, I got the two Tomb Raider movies starring Angelina Jolie. That is right. Yes. 
Aunt Carla had both of them, and I got them. And Marissa, my best friend who was there with me, was like, you need to watch these movies. These next three are all together, and I'm really happy I got these. And they are Indiana Jones, The Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones, The Temple of Doom, and Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. Got all three of those on DVD. Did not get the fourth one. I really haven't seen the Indiana Jones ones from beginning to end. I've seen a majority of it. If you don't know what Indiana Jones is, where have you been? That is my question, where have you been? I don't care if those were made way back when. You should know what Indiana Jones is, all right? Like, you know Star Wars, okay? All right, the next movie is Artificial Intelligence. This has Jude Law, I think, and the kid from The Sixth Sense, I believe. And it's sci-fi, definitely, but I think it's going to be super duper fun, and I'm excited, and I love sci-fi, so I should love it. This next one is really random. It is a Bruce Willis movie, but it's called Hudson Hawk. Aunt Carla said it was really good and funny, and I think he's like a burglar, but he like listens to classical music that has a play in it or something. And then the last movie that I have to show you, it doesn't really have a cover on it, it's plain, but it is Blazing Saddles, which is like the 1970s movie starring Gene Wilder. Yeah, I think it's 1970s. If that's the wrong era, I'm so sorry. It's supposed to be super funny, makes fun of westerns, and I love Gene Wilder. Those are all my movies. I'm gonna go ahead and get into all my books. I have a lot, but I'm gonna try and fly by them pretty quickly. Thank you so much if you're just sticking around for the movie section. I have a ton of books to show you, so let's go ahead and get into the book section. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm -mm. So these first three are classics. I've actually had them on my shelf for a very long time, and I am reading them kind of right now, and I just wanted to show them to you so like, when the book reviews come up, you're not like, where the heck did these come from? When did you get these? So the first one, it doesn't have a cover to it, but it is the Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I got interested into this because of Penny Dreadful. If you have not watched that show, oh my god, go watch that show. It's like Once Upon a Time, but with creepy fairy tale. It's so cool. So, and Dorian Gray is one of the characters in there. I decided to read it and figure out what was the story of the picture of Dorian Gray. The next one, I'm in the middle of reading it right now. It's Anne of Green Gables, and this is a classic. I never really knew much about it. It was a present, I think, from Aunt Carla. Yeah, it was from Aunt Carla. So thank you, Aunt Carla. And then the last one that I have is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson, Hodgson Burnett. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I love how I have, like, a Hogwarts bookmark in this, and then 221B Baker Street in this. And this was from my Aunt Chris for my kindergarten graduation way back when, and I had not read it ever yet, which is really sad, I know. I've mentioned a bunch that some of you have suggested some books to me and some movies. I know it's been a really long time since you've asked for these books and movies, but I have kept them on a list, like I've said in my past videos, and now I finally have some of them for you. The first book that was suggested to me was by my abuelo. He said, get a John Grisham book. So I researched, because John Grisham has a lot of books, and I wanted to pick the right one that I feel like I would enjoy. So the one that I picked was The Firm. And the reason that I picked this is that I know there is a movie with Tom Cruise based off this book. I could read this book, do a review on it for Abuelo, but also combine it with a movie review for The Firm and do a compare and contrast. We had that recommendation on the shelf. It will get to it eventually, but I have it so you know I'm going to read it. Love you, Abuelo! The next two were recommended on my last book haul by NF857, and the two books were With Malice and the Leaving. So these two are mysteries. I haven't started reading them, but I did read the blurbs a little bit. This one sounds a lot like kind of Taken-ish vibe, and I love Taken, so I'm super excited for that. And I know The Leaving is a mystery. It's about a girl named Scarlet who disappeared. Six kindergarteners disappeared without a trace, and then five of those kids return. And they're 16 and they're fine, but they don't remember who they are. Ooh, I'm so excited for these. But I finally got your books. I saw them and I was like, I gotta buy them because this person suggested them to me. So I'm excited to read them. And then these last two. If you watched my last book video, my last book was Illuminae. 
and I talked about how I had walked into that bookstore determined to get the fourth Game of Thrones book because I could buy one book, but I did not, got distracted by Illuminae, and bought it. Well now, I have made that up, and I've made it even better. I do have now A Feast for Crows, book four from the A Song of Ice and Fire series, or Game of Thrones, if I know that I've said Game of Thrones a lot, and that's the name of the first book and not the entire series, so I am sorry about that. I do know that I just, the show's called Game of Thrones, so I just say Game of Thrones, I'm sorry. But then, I have the fifth one now, too. So now, I have all of the books for the Song of Ice and Fire series that have come out. So now, I can catch up. Boom! I made it up for the last time. And those are all of the books that were recommended to me that I got. Um, I know that Ariana Hanley, she recommended some books to me. If you would like to send me the name of them again, they were like The Haunting of Someone, I think. I forget the exact name of it. And then Ms. Susan Hansen sent me a link to Lori Hall's Anderson books, so I'm going to be reading one of those too. So I have those on there still. These ones, I've just, they've been there forever, and I needed to get them out of the way. So these next books that I have, it's basically me completing a series. If you've watched my videos, I do have a book review up for the first two books in the series. I have a book review for the third one recorded, and I'm going to be editing that eventually and uploading that. But I was super excited to get these. I had like a $100 gift card to Amazon, so I spent most of it on getting these books. And it is book four, City of Fallen Angels. Book 5, City of Lost Souls, and Book 6, City of Heavenly Fire, and it gets better, it gets better, because that's the Mortal Instruments series, but then I got Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. I read online, and I know that these books intertwined together, so I got them both so I can do that, because I don't want to be spoiled for anything. So next, I'm going to be reading Clockwork Prince, because I've read the third book of the Mortal Instruments series, so I will be getting on Clockwork Prince, and I'm so excited, because that one is supposed to be incredible. I'm so happy that I got all of these. I know I do have to get the side stories, but I'm focusing on the main, main storyline right now. I'll get the side stories later. The next series that I will now fully have on my shelf is the rest of the Throne of Glass series. That is Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms. That's right, I got all the books up to the ones that have been released. I know there's one more book still to come, but now I can binge read these as well. I do have reviews on the first two books if you want to see them. I'll leave them in the description below, a link to them. If you haven't seen my reactions to them, I love the series so much. So much. It is one of my favorites. And I was going to get the Assassin's Blade too, but sadly they didn't have that at the store. So I was really sad. But I got the main books in the series, so I'm excited. I will get Assassin's Blade. Like I said, I am completionist, so I do tend to read the novellas and everything like that. The next complete series that I have is by one of my favorite authors ever, and his name is Brandon Sanderson. He wrote the Mistborn trilogy, which you can kind of see. That's the Mistborn trilogy. It blew my mind. And there's more Mistborn books too, I know. This series, it came out more recently, it's Young Adult, I believe, and it was Brandon Sanderson, so I wanted to read it, because it's Brandon Sanderson! It's Brandon Sanderson! The Steel Heart, Steel Heart, and Firefight. And then, when I finally had a gift card to Barnes & Noble, I got Calamity. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's a sign. Whoop, whoop. I don't know if it's actually signed, but I'm going to pretend it is because that's really cool. Another series on my shelf. Woo! Going off the Sanderson craze, I did not stop at just those Brandon Sanderson books. Like I said, Mistborn is one of my favorite series of all time. This was absolutely incredible. So when I went into the bookstore and found the next two books, I had to get them. And those are The Alloy of Law and The Shadows of Self. So basically what Brandon Sanderson is doing with, with Mistborn is that he has this series that takes place in one time and then there's a new trilogy that's part of the same Mistborn universe but it's in a completely different time. So I believe this one is Western. I know there is another book to this but it was not in the store or I would have gotten that one too. And it's called The Bands of Mourning. 
If you know where I can get it, let me know, because Barnes & Noble did not have it, and I was really, really sad, but they had the first two, and they only had them in these tiny ones, but you gotta realize, I'm not super picky as long as I can get a book. Brandon Sanderson, my love. So these next couple of books are books that I've already started the series. I haven't finished them. So the first one that I got, it came out like January 3rd, is Wayfarer. This is the sequel to Passenger. I do have a book review on Passenger. I will leave a link in the description for you so you can check it out. Passenger is a time travel adventure, time travel romance. Goes through all these different eras. It's really, really cool. This is a duology, so this will complete the series. So I love having complete series on my shelf. It's amazing, even if I haven't actually finished reading it yet. The next one is by my favorite author, of all time. Brandon Sanderson is one of them, but this lady is my favorite. Because she is the first author that I came across her debut novel before it was even popular. Loved it and have followed her books ever since. You can read her first series, Legend. This is the old cover. This is when it first came out before it was popular and now Legend is considered an amazing series in book world. If you haven't guessed the author already, it is Marie Lu, and this is going to complete the series, the Young Elite series that she has out, and it's called The Midnight Star. The Young Elite series is so amazing, one of my favorite series of all time. I don't know if I necessarily like it better than Legend, I think I might, just because it's so different. But I love the first two books, mind's just blown by them. And this one, I'm so excited to read. And then the final one, this isn't actually part of a series I haven't completed yet. And it is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay. So not only do I have a book just talking about the whole entire movie, but I actually have like the screenplay thing, which is really cool. Look how beautiful this is, it's so shiny. These next little group of books are book series that I am starting. I have not actually started yet, but I want to start and now I have them. So the first series series is the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I have the Maze Runner and then I have also the Scorch Trial. Um, I've been hesitant to read this just because, you know, I've heard mixed things, but I always want to give a book a shot, so I definitely got these two and I'm definitely, since I have them, going to be completing the series no matter what. The next series I was also really, really hesitant, even more hesitant than the Maze Runner to get because it starts out fantastic and then I've heard it sucked. and. There's another series, Divergent, which I read, that did that to me. This series is The Fifth Wave. But this series, I have book one. The Fifth Wave, I have book one, and then I also have The Infinite Sea, which is really small compared to it. I know this is a trilogy. I think I'm going to love The Fifth Wave. I just don't know about Infinite Sea because a lot of people didn't like it. And then the last book, I don't know if people liked it at all. It's one of those that, like, even though the series might not have ended well, it's one of those landmark books that just took the world by storm. The next book that I have, um, this one, I think, I don't know if it's a trilogy. I think it might be a trilogy, um, but it is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba to here. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I know I have not read this. This is a crime. This one I'm super excited to get. Oh my gosh. I know A Torch Against the Night is out. Did not get that one yet. So I just have the first book, but I'm definitely, I feel like I'm just going to love this. So I know I'm going to get it eventually. The next one, this one, I am prompted a lot of the times to pick books just based off of if they have movies or not, because it's really fun to compare and contrast to me. And that is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And I'm going to read it, and I'm definitely going to watch it, because it has one of my favorite actors in it, Eva Green, who is in Penny Dreadful. And then the final one of a series that I'm starting is Outlander. This is a TV show as well, and I know this has a lot of books in it, but this seems right up my alley. So I'm super excited for this. I'm gonna, I know my mind's gonna be blown. And these last few, I have a couple more. I know this is long, I'm sorry. These last few are standalones. The first one is a John Green book because I have not read John Green. I know, it's so sad. But I chose Looking for Alaska because I've heard it's really, really good. So I'm excited to read this. And I said I wanted to read more contemporaries. So this is a contemporary, so I'm definitely going to be reading that. The next one is The Book Thief. Is this considered a contemporary? I'm not really sure, but this is supposed to be absolutely amazing. And I know that the movie came out too, so another one I can do a compare and contrast on. The next one, I love mystery, and this movie just came out as well, so I got The Girl on the Train. I'm super excited to read this. I have not seen the movie. I want to read the book first, and I haven't read a super duper good mystery novel in a very long while. So between this and with Malice and the Leaving, I'm super duper excited. The next one, 
Ready Player One. This was a huge hit. It's sci-fi, I believe, and it's by Ernest Klein. And they're actually making a movie for this. Mark Rylance is going to be in it. If you don't know him, he won the Oscars for Best Supporting Actor from Bridge of Spies. And he is the BFG in the BFG. And then the final one that I picked up was... The Night Circus. This is a standalone fantasy, I want to say, and I don't read a lot of these because here's my thing. I love fantasy with the passion, and I love exploring a world. And I always feel like with standalone fantasies, unless it's a giant book, you really don't get everything covered. I've decided to pick it up and give it a shot. And it was also in the buy to get third free section, so I got it. Those are all of my books and movies. I know I have a lot. I have a problem. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was really long, so if you stuck with me till the end, thank you so much. If you do have any other book or movie suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. Or any other type of video you'd like to see, like a Q&A or a tag or something like that, just let me know. I'd love to do them for you. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this, and don't forget to be awesome. All right, goodbye. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Woo.